How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. So today I am doing an unboxing of the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. So I'll do the unboxing and then the initial pairing and connecting the mouse and then I'll let you know why I decided to buy this specific mouse and I'll also let you know if I think that you should also consider getting this Logitech MX Master mouse. So let's get to it. So first, let me tell you why I bought this mouse. So I bought this mouse because I was using the Apple Magic Mouse. And what I found was that that mouse was not really the most comfortable mouse out there. Yes, the design is pretty cool. It's one of the best, minimalistic and a simple design. Obviously, it works the best with your Apple products. Also has a bit of gestures there and there. But I'd say that if you want to work long hours, I would struggle to use this mouse for long hours so that's why i decided to get something a bit more comfortable to use so that's why i opted for the logitech mx master 3x mouse you see later on on the video i'm going to show you the two side by side so the apple magic mouse and then the logitech mx master 3x mouse so that you can see what is the difference and how they compare to each other so let us first look at this packaging. So I'd say the box looks super cool, but it is not the most premium packaging that I've seen out there. But I'd say this works quite fine. You can see the picture of the Logitech MX mouse displayed on the front there. And at the back, you can see it has a few more details about the mouse. And at the top there, you can also see which type of operating systems support this mouse so obviously your mac supports this windows as well linux as well and also ios devices they also support this and also android devices support this mouse so let us do the actual unboxing we can just open it up there and then it seems that there is another box inside so this was just some sort of a cover that we saw earlier on the actual box is inside i think it's pretty cool it feels proper the quality is good there so you can just open it up and then see what is inside and there you go there goes the logitech mx master 3s mouse and let us see what the mouse looks like i think it is pretty cool i think i like this design what I don't like about this mouse, I'd say, is the steel metal in the middle there, the wheel. I just don't like the whole metal that is going on there. To me, it doesn't really feel that premium. But overall, I'd say I really like this design. It is pretty cool. So you also have your USB dongle, if I can call it that. So this is what you plug in. You can also use this to connect your mouse and not necessarily the Bluetooth. And there is also a bit of a package there, obviously, with your how to guide uh, booklets. So if you open here, you look inside, you will see that there is your cable, which is USB A to USB C cable. And then you will also see that small card there that also has the uh, URL link that will take you to a page that is going to give you all the info that you need uh, regarding uh, using and connecting. Um, your Logitech MX Master mouse. And here is what the MX Master mouse looks like next to the Apple Magic Mouse. So as you can see here, the other one is a bit more comfortable to hold. The Logitech is a bit more comfortable to hold. The Magic Mouse is a bit low. So that's what makes it a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you wanna use it for two or three hours, I'd say I find that it is not the most comfortable, but I think one to two hours, that should be okay. And you can see at the bottom there, it has this uh, sticker or cover that shows you how to pair. And if you remove that cover there at the bottom, you will see that it has the different channels there. So it has three channels. So you can basically dedicate each channel to a different machine that you want to use so it will be easier to switch and basically to sort of plug and play and not having to pay again so for example i'm going to use my mac as channel as the first channel as channel one 
and then I can use my Windows machine as channel 2 and then I can use my iPad as channel 3 so whenever I pick up the mouse and I know that I want to use it on the iPad I just simply press and then activate channel 3 and then it will just start working there and stuff like that so I think this is pretty cool and also don't forget you have the other USB A dongle channel and let us do the pairing of this mouse so all you need to do is just to go on to your settings and you click on your connection settings you go to Bluetooth and then if you look there on your uh, Bluetooth screen you'll be able to see all of the Bluetooth devices that you have connected already and you can also see others that uh, your Mac can pick up that are nearby and one of these here is the Logitech MX Master Mouse obviously and we're going to click connect to connect that and there you go and then it is now connected and I like all of the icons that they use there you can see that they use like a proper icon that kind of looks like the Logitech mouse and you can see that the icon for the Apple mouse is also different so you can have both of them connected and you can see your battery percentage on there so I think that is super cool as well uh, I'd say that it is good to use uh, the mouse pointer moves pretty quick obviously that's something that you can always do on your set settings later on to try and adjust and put like the proper speed that you prefer so should you be buying this logitech mx master 3s mouse i'd say yes you should consider buying it it is a bit expensive that's something to note so it costs somewhere around 2500 rands um obviously if you look out for promos and stuff like that you might buy it cheaper but that is the price range that you can expect to pay for it i'd say if you're also looking for something more comfortable to replace your apple magic mouse i think this is a very good alternative it looks good and the fact that you can use it with your different operating system so you can use it on your windows machine as well on your mac as well and also on your ipad or on your galaxy tablet so i think it is a pretty good mouse to have and we've come to the end of this video thank you for watching please give me a like if you enjoyed the video also consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this i'll catch you on the next video